Doctor Strangelove, or to give the film its full title, Doctor Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Learn to Love the Bomb, is certainly a film which divides opinion. Certainly a strange film, somewhat dominated by the various roles played by Peter Sellers. The basic premise of the film is that during the Cold War, an insane American general decides to order a preemptive nuclear strike against the Soviet Union. There follows a madcap attempt to stop a nuclear war, and the film follows various groups of individuals trying to do their best in rather difficult circumstances. By following the action from three different locations all at the same time, you move from the distant war room to on board a B-52 bomber back to the base where the planes have taken off from. This can give the film a little disjointed appearance and feel a bit overwhelming, but it does help to give the film its madcap air. The characters in the film are deliberately portrayed as two-dimensional stereotypes, and in this film it's make, making fun not just at the ludicrous situation, but also at the film industry itself and its portrayals of similar characters in more mainstream movies, and war movies and dramas and such like. Peter Sellers and George C. Scott have a tendency to dominate the screen with their roles, though Slim Pickens does get the most iconic image of the film. The film can probably be summed up in the line delivered by Peter Sellers as the president. Gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. Love it or loathe it, you'll have to watch it to find out which camp you fall into. Whichever one you're in, you won't forget it.